Hello folks, and what you can see here is a four stroke SC52. Um, I've purchased it uh, very recently at what I believe was a, a fair price. It appears to be very, very new. It's had a little bit of fuel through it, but there are no obvious signs of accumulation of um, castor oil or uh, basically any temperature uh, showing and no marks on the, the lugs. So I'm taking it as a, if it has been run, it's maybe had a, a five minutes of fuel through it. So why am I showing you this? Well, uh, there is a project coming my way that I've been asked to um, take a look at and that model um, is on the market now, um, predominantly aimed at electric, I believe, but I'm going to actually fly it IC. Um, nothing against electric, everything has its place, but I personally prefer um, <clears throat> internal combustion engines and four strokes because I think it gives a soul to a model. It's just my view. I'm not downing anybody that does otherwise. So this is the engine that's going to do the job. <clears throat> in the project, it will require that the engine runs inverted, which can be a little problematic. If you set up the carbon correctly, you can end up wetting the plug excessively. Uh, but that's a problem I'll have to face. The first thing to do is to make sure I haven't got a dud here and I need to put it in a test stand and give it a go. Um, it's got good compression and these SC engines, uh, I've, I, I do own a couple of them actually and I don't find any problem with them at all. Um, I know they're not at the top end of the market, uh, Sato's, Lasers, OS engines, but they do the job. And for the amount of flying I get to do in the UK with the weather, um, I'm, I'm very unlikely to ever wear them out, I think. So there we have it. Um, it's just a paperweight unless it's in a plane. So let's get it in the test stand and give it a go. And then we'll decide whether it's uh, going to meet the requirements of the forthcoming project. Let's get it going. So I've got the engine set up here. Um, let's give it a go. And if it's all successful, then I've got an engine to try with a new project. Clearly nothing wrong with this engine. Um, I purchased the engine as new and it clearly is, ran really well. Um, I, I actually put a tachometer on it um, after I did that little video clip and found that it was running around about um, 9,000 RPM and it's on a 12 by 6 prop, so that's fine. And when I took it down to got it into a safe takeover, I was around about the 3,000 RPM, which is great. Um, now, the engine in the project, by way of a teaser, will be like that. And you have to take care a little bit when you're mounting engines inverted. They are a little bit more problematic. And I think it's all to do with setting up the, the carb correctly so that you're not flooding the engine. But that's a problem I'll have to deal with because it's the only way that the engine's going to fit. The exhaust uh, will be changed. I doubt I'm going to use this. I'm looking for a much neater installation um, to do justice to the model. Um, by way of a teaser, 
as they say this troublesome gypsy moth troublesome because of the troubles i've had with the covering and the, particularly the fuel proofing um is a little bit of a clue to what the next project is because it belongs to this family of planes i'll say no more watch this space if i've um got you a little curious why not subscribe if you haven't already done so and if you do that you hopefully enjoy the journey of the forthcoming build which i'm going to put down as the autumn build once the summer holidays are finished and hopefully the flying season is becoming a little bit more disrupted uh, that's when i'm going to get my teeth stuck into this project i hope so thanks for looking in folks give us a thumbs up if you don't mind take care